I think we all recognize that nothing in our world is more necessary than the spirit of Nowruz. When we see all the conflicts around the world, when we see the plight of migrants and refugees, when we see the rise of xenophobia and racism in so many parts of the world, it is clear that we all need the spirit of Nowruz. Spirit of Nowruz. One family, one song. Beneath the deepest snows, the secret of a rose is merely that it knows no ruse is near. That beautiful rhapsody of spring, rebirth and love is near. Nowruz reveals itself at the spring equinox, which is the time of rejuvenation and joy. At that time, we anticipate the heavens to bestow upon us more rainfall, making the earth more compassionate to us. Thus, the whole renewed world will rejoice and smile at us. Nowruz is an ode to spring, rejuvenation, and breeze of light. As the famous Persian poet Hafez reaffirms, from the abode of the beloved comes the fragrant breeze of Nowruz. From this breeze, if you ask for aid, you kindle the lamp of your heart. Nowruz marks the first day of spring on March the 21st. The beginning of the Iranian New Year. This fragrant breeze of Nowruz is overwhelmingly inclusive and ascends beyond all ethnic, linguistic and religious barriers. Thus, today, Nowruz is celebrated by over 300 million people 
in various countries around the world. Including Afghanistan, Azerbaijan, India, Iran, Iraq, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Pakistan, Tajikistan, Turkey, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, and beyond. Nowruz is also associated with the spectacles of Jamshid, the most glorious of the legendary kings of Persia. His legend was recorded by the celebrated Persian epic poet Ferdowsi about 1,000 years ago and has been reiterated by storytellers ever since. In this epic story, Jamshid defeats the vicious and ruthless demons of darkness and brings hope and happiness back to the nation. This triumph of light over darkness was then called No Ruz, the new day, or the new light. Symbolically, this festival signifies the victory of the day over the night, good over evil, light over darkness. Today, as a reminder of Jamshid's triumph against the demons of darkness, people congratulate each other and joyously declare, Nauruzaton Firuzbot, Harruzaton Nauruzbot. Or may your Nauruz be triumphant. In this moment of spring, nature is reborn. The powers of light awaken the powers of darkness. Voice prevails over silence and warmth over cold, which makes mankind rejoice. Meanwhile, drums, special oboes and trumpets, which are the instruments usually used in military victories, are jubilantly played in various countries. But is there any actual historical or archaeological evidence for the Nowruz celebrations? Possible clues depicting such an unprecedented multinational festivity could be found at an ancient city in the Iranian heartland, at Parse, or as the Greeks called it, Persepolis.
to this remarkable ceremonial center of a vast world empire, there came on New Year's Day, the vernal equinox on the 21st of March, many peoples, representatives of the various satrapies or governorships which uh, Darius had established in the empire. So they brought all sorts of things from the Ionian Greeks to the Egyptians, the Babylonians, the Indians. It must have been a grand occasion to see the various people walking up the stairs, coming into these wonderful stone palaces, bringing their gifts in the presence of the king. This was Persepolis. Their gifts of honor were presented to a Persian king who is depicted sitting on a throne, holding not a sword, not a mace, but a flower, possibly a lotus, as a symbol of peace and friendship. Here's a marvelous embossed relief, which is a masterpiece of Achaemenid art. While that portrays the beginning of the royal audience, most probably at Nuru's or Mehragan ceremonies. The king is seated on the throne, while the ceremonial chief is offering an explanation about the procedures. After that, the gift bearers would start their procession, and the majestic Nuru ceremonies would start. The continuity of Nowruz celebrations for over 2,500 years is a baffling secret. Old narratives tell us that over 1,600 years ago, in the Sasanian period, Iranians would sprout seven edible grains at the time of Nowruz. Then the one that grew taller was predicted to be more abundant in the new year. The spread of Nowruz has to do with the fact that Iran, as it is right now, is only a small part of what once covered the extent of the Achaemenid or Sasanian Empire, or even, let's say, the outreach of Iranian culture beyond the, its political borders. So, it is not surprising that the Rus is found in the Balkans. It was not brought by the Iranians, it was brought by the Ottoman Turks. The Ottoman Turks, although they themselves were not Iranians, they adopted Iranian culture, uh, Iranian literature, and they adopted also the Rus Sultani, as they call it, the Royal New Year's Day. Proud to see Turkish people have been celebrating in Central Asia as well as in Anatolia, Nevruz, with a hope for new beginning, for a better future for all. This event is a clear message for peace, inclusiveness, and human solidarity. Thus today, Nevruz is still celebrated in an astonishingly enchanting manner, in a vast domain. From the Balkans and parts of Eastern Europe, to certain parts of China and even Mongolia. In Olgi, in Western Mongolia, for example, Almost a thousand musicians, young and old, gather every year. 
Harmoniously, they perform a joyous melody for Nauru's celebrations with their small yet magnificent string instruments. For centuries, welcoming measures of Nowruz have been held with the utmost glory throughout Iran. Salam, ayt zamaha. Salam. Gözümüzde çok çok hoş geldiniz, siz ayt zamaha. Yığışın, gelin, deyin, gülün, salın, oynayın, ayt zamaha. Sayatın, gelin, bakın. Hidden in the green vegetation of the Caspian region, Special plays are performed to herald the defeat of winter. Here we conduct the play of uh, the giant versus the bride. The giant is the symbol of winter, while the bride represents spring. In this play, we defeat the winter and herald that spring has come so that the people can start their farming and cultivation. The ruse is a time of renewal. This renewal starts from the houses with spring cleaning. Sweeping ditches and cleaning watercourses are also very important. In Talish, for instance, while the men purge the water's path of dirt and mud, young girls and ladies scatter rose petals and sprinkle rose water over the running water. Other welcoming measures of Nowruz include colouring eggs. Sprouting grains. and a special ceremony called Charshambe Suri, or the Feast of Wednesday. This feast is held on the eve of the last Wednesday preceding the new year, and consists of piling at least three small heaps of shrubbery and setting them alight. Then all the members of the family in turn leap over the flames reciting a short rhyme of good fortune. Oh, 
My pallor to you, your ruddiness to me. Thus they throw all malice and sorrow into the fire to burn and perish. But what is the rationale behind lighting fires? It is partly rooted in the Zoroastrian religion, which was dominant for much of the history of ancient Iran. In the last five days preceding the new year, we Zoroastrians have a special custom. We clean our homes and make preparations for the remembrance of our dead by inviting their souls or farvahars to our homes. Then, on the eve of Nowruz, before the sunrise, by lighting fires on rooftops and with our prayers, we bid them farewell and welcome Nowruz. Lighting fires on rooftops to welcome Nowruz, which is still performed in Yazd and Kerman, has undergone some changes after the advent of Islam. It has metamorphosed by Iranians into Chashan Basuri, or the Feast of Wednesday. This feast has been transferred from rooftops to streets and undergone certain changes, but the original custom was different. The fires that are lit at Nowruz in the Iranian countryside, on the northern plains of Iraq, and on the beaches of Los Angeles, burn up the bad luck and suffering of the previous year and carry the promise of future joy and a more peaceful world. Today, on the eve of Nowruz, lighting fires, although for different purposes, is still customary, especially in Kurdistan. In the month leading up to the New Year's Day, acquiring gifts for the loved ones and no ruse shopping, very similar to Christmas shopping, is very popular. But the most important Nowruz tradition in Iran is spreading a sofre. Sofre is a covering or cloth which is usually adorned with flowers, fruits, sweets, mirrors and other objects. This spread has a connotation to Nowruz in the same way a Christmas tree has to Christmas.
Although the articles on the spread may differ from region to region, the practice is shared by millions of people around the world. In Iran, the sofre is spread on a table or on a Persian carpet and contains seven symbolic items whose names usually begin with the Persian letter Sin, which is the equivalent of the letter S in English. Senjed, dried Persian olive, also known as jujube fruit, for assessing matters under the Aegis of Wisdom. It is also mentioned that its fragrance stimulates love and passion. Sib, apple, for health and vitality of life. As the famous saying goes, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Samanu, a sweet pudding made from germinated wheat, for celestial force replete with power and potency. Sia, garlic, for its medicinal purposes and self-restraint. Serke, vinegar, for solving sour problems in our daily lives and adjustability to worldly circumstances. Sumak, for the organization of life supported by the pillar of patience. Its red color also represents the color of love and the alliance of hearts. And Sabze, sprouted grains for rebirth and profound respect for greenery and nature. Now let us see whether it is possible to discover any common feature among these seven symbolic items. Every item of the Hafzin must have these seven features. First, it should begin with the letter Sin in Persian. Second, its name must be originally Persian. So any item whose name is not Persian is not welcome on the sofre. Third, it must have an organic origin. Fourth, it must be edible. Fifth, it must be accessible. Sixth, its name cannot be made of a synthetic word, like sabzi polo or other compound words. And seventh, it must be long-lasting so that it would endure throughout the ceremonies which are held for 13 days. Additional items that are frequently seen on the Nowruz spread are a book of wisdom, usually the Holy Quran or other scriptures, coins, a mirror, painted eggs, a bowl of water with a goldfish, hyacinth, and traditional confectionaries. During these auspicious days, many people journey to their temples, synagogues,
churches. and mosques for thanksgiving prayers. When the Noru's table is set and the turn of the year, or Tahavile Sol, draws near, the family members sit around the sofre, usually wearing new clothes. They avoid expressing depressing thoughts and wish a year full of goodness, health and happiness for everyone. O oh, reformer of hearts and eyes, O oh, director of the affairs of day and night, O oh, transformer of life and human beings' destiny and conditions, transform our condition to the best and most splendid state. Gradually, the countdown for the commencement of the new year begins. Happy Nowruz to everyone! سال نو به همه دو مبارک باشه اینا شما کادر شما after tahavile sol gifts are exchanged then visiting relatives neighbors and friends begins the elderly members of the family receive the visit first followed by the junior members. The ideals associated with Nauru's are truly harmonious with our custom and tradition during the season of Nauruz, lingering grievances and quarrels are forgotten, and all the people strive to share the joys of the holiday with their families and friends, and visit the elderly people to seek their blessing. Nowruz knows no bounds. It crosses ethnicities, religions, language, mountains, forests, and rivers. During the Nowruz visits in the Xinjiang region of China, we can see other unique customs. Here, the lady of the house pours some wheat flour on the guest's shoulder as an expression of well-wishing and blessings for the new year.
No root beer among the put lords. No root is not just a holiday. It is a phenomenon that is based on the solid foundation of eternal values. The day when a man does not commit sin and does not violate the divine harmony. Therefore, this day is a true holiday for becoming a perfect person. In Iran, the Nowruz holidays last 13 days. On the 13th day of the new year, called Sizda Bida, literally translated as out of doors on the 13th, people leave their houses to join nature and picnic outside. Perhaps the belief that it is unlucky to stay at home on the 13th was created to give the housebound added incentive to leave their homes and appreciate the unveiling of nature's beauty. On the day of Sizda Bida, folk dances are performed in various parts of the country, such as wood dancing in Khorasan. In Fars province, Kashke ladies and youngsters enhance the atmosphere of happiness and delight with their colorful and dazzling dresses. We believe that Nauru's has the power to turn our good thoughts into good words, and good words into good deeds. The spirit of Nauru's, which is celebrated these days, should remain with us each day of our lives, whenever we are, irrespective of our latitude and longitude. As the sun sets, the Nauru's festivities draw to a close. But the spirit of Nowruz and its beautiful memories live on potently in the hearts and minds of millions of people throughout the world. What is the secret behind the continuity of Nauru's, which has endured for millennia, despite various political and historical storms? During the Soviet era, Nauru's festivities were banned. But after our independence, the people who had always preserved Nauru's in their hearts started to celebrate Nauru's exuberantly. Nowruz familiarizes us with a culture and civilization in which human beings learned that they should never become captives of hopelessness and depression. Thus, in this realm, no ritual can ever represent hope as Nowruz can. Mm -hmm. 
Another reason why Nowruz is timeless is that it strives to increase joy among all human beings, irrespective of their color, race, creed, and gender. This is our sofre, which is a combination of our half scene as well as our pesa or Passover spread. We have mixed them together because we are Iranians first and then Jewish. I'd like to express my best wishes to everyone celebrating Nowruz and wish them a happy new year. Nowruz is a time of joy and festivity among different ethnic, linguistic, religious, and geographic groups. This special occasion helps bring people together in its spirit of joy, friendship, compassion, coexistence, and solidarity. In October 2009, in an unprecedented measure undertaken collectively by these countries, Nowruz was officially registered on the UNESCO list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Nowruz celebrations take different forms depending on the region of the world you are lucky enough to attend them in, making them a perfect demonstration of the diversity and inventiveness of human cultures, an intangible heritage which is just as precious. Happy Norus to everyone. Today, the festival of Nowruz is celebrated by many people in a vast domain. The members of this huge family of over 300 million people resemble flowers of a single garden, the Nowruz garden, in which each flower disperses its own perfume to make this garden one of the most diverse yet fragrant patches of land in the world. The festival of Nowruz is a long-standing cultural tradition that welcomes the annual onset of spring that symbolizes a rebirth or renewal and hope and prosperity. Such festivals are, therefore, part of our civilizational heritage and link us to our ancestors across time. Nowruz shines a light of hope and optimism by its message of a new beginning, of seeking peace through tolerance and promoting dialogue and reconciliation among peoples. 
Novros promotes today's universally recognized values, such as peace, reconciliation, friendship, mutual understanding, respect for cultural diversity, tolerance, intercultural dialogue, and good neighborliness. Its values echo those that we together promote at the United Nations every day and everywhere. Nowruz reminds us of what we have in common and the richness of our diversity. I wish all of you a prosperous, happy, healthy and peaceful Nowruz and may its spirit of friendship, harmony and respect for nature serve as an inspiration to us all. میرخصی و صبح هم را با ماه می آمیزی برگردن شب های خورشید می آویزی میرخصی و می چرخی در گردش هر دستم در آینه هستی در آینه هستم میرخصی و صبح هم را تو می رخصد سر مست تو می رخصد عشق و غزل و حافظ عشق و غزل و حافظ در دست تو می رخصد در گردش هر دستم در آینه هستی در آینه هستم میرخصی و صبح هم را با ماه میامیزی برگردن شبهایم 